Today on Filmland, we're doing... What are we doing, Jarvis? I believe we're doing a Jarvis voice effect, sir. Oh. Okay, we're doing that. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And no doubt you heard me talk about what we're doing today because that happened like five seconds ago, but I'm still gonna throw up some requests. So a bunch of you have been asking for quite some time for me to do a Jarvis voice effect. Now guys, I've actually resisted doing this one for a while because it's essentially just Paul Bettany, that's the actor that plays Jarvis and Vision. It's just him talking in his normal voice with some effects layered on to make it seem like his voice is being projected out of a speaker or inside Iron Man's helmet. There's not a lot more to it. But I'm gonna admit guys, my son's in bed, my wife is working at the moment and I've had a couple of drinks. So I thought, let's just do a nice easy tutorial. Cause that's how I relax. My God. So in order to complete this effect, you need to do your best Jarvis voice impression like yours truly right here. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. Hmm, so refined. Other than that, we just need a copy of Adobe Audition, so let's get to work, shall we? Uh, uh. I'm just gonna leave that in. Okay guys, here we are in Adobe Audition, and I've got my Java Space impression all set up and ready to go. So let's have a listen. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. Not bad, but it needs a little work to get it over the line. So let's start by heading to the effects rack, down to modulation and select flanger. And from the drop down menu, let's grab the obvious choice, robotic. Let's then set the feedback back down a little bit to 35% and the modulation rate to 50 Hz. And let's have a listen to that. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. As you can hear, it gives our audio a slight metallic twang. Now gang, if you want to make this a bit more metallic or a bit more robot-y, you can totally up this feedback amount right here. But the thing with Jarvis is, is that it's subtle. We all know he's an AI, so the idea is the metallic effect is because his voice is always being projected from a speaker. So I'm gonna keep it as is and move on to the next step. Now, as I said just a few seconds ago, most, if not all the time, the Jarvis voice is heard because it's being projected out of a speaker within either the Iron Man suit or in his house or at the Avengers lair. So the next step is recreating that natural reverb of that house sound. So let's head back to the rack, head to reverb, and we're gonna go full reverb. From the drop down menu, I'm gonna grab empty living room. And if we have a listen to that, allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. You can hear it gives our voice a little bit of a bass and it starts giving it a bit of depth by enhancing that robot twang as well. Next, we're going to keep enhancing. Let's head back to the rack, head to modulation and grab phaser. From the drop down menu, I'm gonna grab shimmer. Now guys, all this really does is just degrade our audio just a little bit more to really sell the idea that this is going through a speaker and then projecting through a room. And lastly, let's head back to the rack Head to Reverb and grab Studio Reverb. And all I'm gonna do here is grab Room Ambience 1 and let's have a listen to that. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. As you can hear, the Jarvis voice now really has that hollow bassy mix that comes from a sound that's being bounced around a large room or lab or basement. Now gang, if your room is a bit more, say, intimate, you can simply drop the full reverb effect and you'll have something like this. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. Now, if we're talking about the Iron Man suit, let's drop both reverbs entirely like so. Just turn them off. We'll then head back to the rack, head to special and grab guitar suite. From there, We'll set it to default on the drop down menu and then we'll unbypass amplifier and then set it to clock radio and maybe move this feedback amount down to say 80%. Now if you have a listen to that, you can get more of a radio and a helmet kind of sound. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative 
designed by Mr. Stark. Either way, gang, when you're done, don't forget to hit the apply button and enjoy the final mix. And that, my friends, is two different takes on the Jarvis voice effect. Done. Add up all those steps and your voice goes from this. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. Add to this. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. You are Ultron, a global peacekeeping initiative designed by Mr. Stark. So guys, that's my take on the Jarvis voice effect from Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron. I think that's about it. As you can see, really not that hard to do. Just a simple bass impression, and then we're just layering effects on top to make it seem like it's being projected out of a speaker or out of, say, Iron Man's helmet. Now guys, before I let you go, I am wearing the shirt on purpose, and the Action VFX site is playing in the background for a reason. They've just released a new free pack of spell hits, and I want you to go to actionvfx.com right now and download them and have a lot of fun, because it's a really cool pack, and it's free. But for now, guys, that is my time. I'm going to go and watch Netflix because I'm feeling pretty good right now. And if you're feeling pretty good, why not smash that like button? I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, why not join the 102,000 other people that have hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other voice effect episodes right over here, and I've got another episode right here, or maybe a playlist. I've got my social media crap above my head, and until I see you again, guys, keep learning.